Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amol's Academy. So we were discussing about array manipulation and in the previous tutorial we discussed about how to join and split given numpy array. Today here we'll discuss about how to insert or delete elements from given array. So first we'll talk about how to insert given elements to already existing array. So for this we can use this insert function. So as name indicates, this function will insert the given value to the existing array along the mentioned axis. So the syntax is simple. We should mention numpy dot insert because this is the function belongs to numpy library. So we need to mention numpy dot insert next here array and here object values and axis by default value is none. So the function name is numpy.insert. The first parameter is array that is the input array and the second parameter is object. This defines the index or indices before which value is inserted. That is nothing but if this is my array called A, okay, it contains four elements. Now if I want to enter 3 between 1 and 2 then I need to mention the object as 1. The value present in that index is 2 now. So before that value I need to mention the new value. So it will place the new value. If the new value is 10 it will place before 2. Okay. So here object is nothing but index or indices before which value need to be inserted. When we see the example you will understand this. Next parameter is values. In the insert function you want to insert new values right so that you need to mention here in the values parameter and if the given array is integer array and if you try to insert a floating point value to this it will convert that to integer then it will insert that to array so that is nothing but if the type of the value is different from the array value is converted to the type of the array okay and the next parameter is axis by default value is none when we take axis as none, it will flatten the given numpy array. Whether it is 1D array, 2D array, 3D array, it will flatten that array. That means it will convert that to 1D array. Next, it will insert the value. So you can take axis as 0, 1, 2, whatever you want. But in 1D array, there is only one dimension. In the 2D array, you can take 0 or 1. In the 3D array, 0, 1, 2. And one more thing here you can mention multiple index. So we'll see the example for that. And what this function will returns, it will return a copy of array. So it won't modify the virginal array, we'll get copy of array. Okay, so this is about the syntax and parameters. Okay, so next we'll see the examples. All right, so first we'll take one dimensional array. So we created this array from the arrange function. So now if I want to insert any new value, then I can do like this np.insert because here we imported numpy as np. That's why I'm mentioning np.insert, right? And here first parameter is array. So array name is a. So I'll mention that next parameter is object. That is where I want to place my value. So here I want to place before two. Okay. So one after that, I want my value next to two. So for that, I'll write the index as one because index of two is one here. So before that, I need to mention the new value need to be placed here. Okay. So that's why one. Next, I need to mention the value, which value you want to enter. So here I'll take value as 50. Right. Now I won't mention axis and because we are dealing with the one dimensional array, no need to mention the axis. So now if I enter. Here we can see 50 is inserted here, 2 is moved here, right? So next, if our value is of different type, for example, here array is of integer type. So here all the elements are integer. Now, if I try to insert a floating point value, what will happen? So here I'll copy this same thing. And one more thing, as I said, we'll get copy of data. A is not modified here. A is same 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. It won't modify the virginal array. We'll get the copy of the array. And if I now 
Now I'll try to insert a floating point value. A is an integer array. I'm trying to insert a floating point value. What will happen? It will convert the value to integer. Then it will insert that to array. Next, as I said, we can take multiple index. So I'll show you the example for that. Okay. Now I want to insert this value 50 in first index and third index. So I need to mention it as 1 comma 3. Okay. I want to place this value 50 in first index and third index. Okay. So if I enter now here we can see 1 and 50. So here 50 and here we can see 50. So you may get confused with this. So I'll show you how it works. All right, here we have array A, okay, and it contains 10 elements, and the elements are 1. So, this is my array A, okay. I want to insert new value 50 at 1 and 3. This will be the index. So, here the value present in 1 index is 2. So, first I need to place this 50 before 2. So, we'll get 50 here, okay, before 2. Next, I want to place it before 3, okay. So, the value present in the third index is 4. Okay, before that I need to place 50. So here we can see it will place 50 here before 4. In this way it will work. Okay, so this is about the insert function in 1D array. Next, let's talk about 2D array. So here we have 2D array. So now if I want to insert any value array A and I want to insert in the index 1 and the value is 23 okay and if i enter so what happened here is we didn't mention the axis so it will take the default value that is none so when axis is none it will flatten the given array if it is 2d array 3d array 4d array 5d array first it will flatten the given array so it will convert that to one dimensional array then it will insert 23 before the value which present in the one index so we got 1 23 2 3 4 next if you don't want this if you want your output in the two dimension then you can mention the axis but when we take axis be careful about the shape of the values okay so that is nothing but here if i take axis as zero okay so the first axis in the two dimensional array there will be two axes one is zero and another one is one so if I enter now, okay, sorry, I want to enter 23, right? So now if I enter here, we can see at axis zero, it will enter 23 in the index one. So here, here we can see 23 and 23 because it is a 2D array in the axis zero, it contains two elements. So what it will do is it will broadcast the value here. It contains single value. So it will broadcast that value. So we'll get 23, 23. If broadcasting is not possible, then we'll get error. Okay? So you can try for the in axis one also, right? Here we can see 23 is inserted here. Next, if I insert a list, okay? If I insert one comma two at axis zero at the index one, we'll get the output in the axis one also we can do that so we can insert the value like this also but if the shape of this is one two three and if i try this now we'll get error okay because in the axis zero it contains only two values we are trying to insert three values so that's why we are getting error okay so be careful about this okay so this is about insert function in 2d arrays so using insert function we can insert the new value to the already existing array and if you want to know more about this insert function then use help np.insert option you will get all the information okay so a is array like input array object is int slice or sequence of ints okay and values values to be inserted into array if the type of values is different from that of array values is converted to type of array all right axis here you'll get all the information about insert function. Next, we'll talk about the append function. 
This function is used to add the values at the end of the array. Okay, we can add or insert the value at the end of the array using this function. And the syntax is you should mention numpy dot append. And here you need to mention array that is the input array. And here you need to mention the values and axis is none. So this syntax is similar to the insert function, but in the insert function, there is another parameter called object because in that we can insert the value in any place. But here in the append function, it will insert the value at the end of the array. That's why no need to use that object. Array is the input array values, the value which you want to enter. And while using the values, be careful about the shape of the arrays or uh, inputs. Okay, we'll see the example for that. Axis is none. That is nothing but it will flatten the given numpy array first. Then it will append the given values. You can take axis as 0 and 1 also in the 2D array. In 3D array, you can take 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so what this function will return? This function also returns the copy of array. Okay, it won't modify the original array. It will give the copy of array. Okay, so then let's see the example. So in the 1D array, so I'll use np.append array A. I want to append 3, 4, 5, 2. Okay, a big value. I won't mention the axis. If I enter here, we can see 3, 4, 5, 2 is appended to array A. And array A is not modified. We got the copy of the array. Next, we'll see append function in 2D array. So you should mention that np append array name is a and you should mention the values right if you want to mention the values it this is 2d array right so if you are taking list here you should take nested list and axis 0 so if you are not taking the axis then you can take any value here it will append at the end 4 and 5 so you can try for axis 1 also will get error because here we can see the array shape okay so we can't append 4 5 here is an array 1 2 3 4 and you want to append this 4 and 5 you can't append like this right that's why we are getting error so when we didn't mention the axis it will flatten the array first next it will insert whatever the value entered If you take axis as one here, if you take like this and axis as one, then it is possible. Okay. So when we are using append function, be careful about the shape of the values. When axis is not none, if axis is none, you can use any values. Okay. Like this, you can't add a single value also. Okay. You'll get error because A is a 2D array, right? Okay, so this is about the append function. If you want to know more about this function, then you can use help np.append. Here you'll get all the information, array values and axis. Append the values to the end of the array. Values are appended to a copy of this array. Values, the values are appended to copy of array. It must be of the correct shape. The same shape as array excluding axis. If axis is not specified, values can be any shape and will be flattened before use. Okay. So this is about the parameters and here you can see the information. If you have any doubt, you can refer this. Okay. So next we'll talk about the delete function. So we can delete values from the numpy array using this function. So the syntax is should mention numpy dot delete. So array object access is none. So here array is nothing but input array. Object is nothing but the, the element of index which you want to delete. Access is nothing but the, along which axis you want to delete the element. If you mention none, it will flatten the numpy array and based on this object, it will delete the element. 
so this function also returns the copy of the array it won't affect the original array so first we'll take 1d array so first i'll show you the array a so now np dot delete in array a I want to delete 3 okay its index is 2 so I'll mention 2 I'll get 1 2 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay 3 is deleted and it is not deleted from the original array this is the copy of the array all right so next we'll see in the 2d array in array a I'll get 1 2 4 it will flatten the array first so we'll get 1 2 3 4 in one dimension array then the value present in the second index will be deleted that is 3 so we got 1 2 4 so this is when you didn't mention the axis if you mention the axis okay in the axis 0 in index 2 is out of bounds because in the axis 0 that is nothing but in the row y there is only two elements index will be 0 and 1 that's why we got error so i'll change that index as 1 if i enter here we can see 1 2 only because the value present in the first index is in the along the axis 0 is 3 4 that is deleted you can try for the axis 1 also if i take along the axis 1 okay I'll get 1 and 3 2 4 is deleted okay so this is about the delete function so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel I will meet you in next class till then take care